Hey guys, what's up? Back up here at Juno Pier again. And I guess what I'm doing today is I'm, I'm making a challenge video. Um, about a month or two ago, I bought this lure right here. A lot of target, mullet, and like so many of the other lures that I bought. You put it on for like five minutes and uh, then you take it off and you use something that you like or you know. So today's gonna be a little bit different because this here lure is the only lure I brought with me. So I'm gonna see if I can catch a snook on it on the beach and uh, get the stink off of it. So let's go check it out and see if we can make something happen. Obviously I've never used this on the beach before. So it's just a really big swim bait. And it's not something I'm used to using. I mean, I like it, but you know, you got to get some confidence in something. You got to catch a fish on it. So sometimes it's hard to do that. Maybe this will be that time. Ooh, the snooker just hammered it. Oh my God, right there, right in the surf. Okay, getting a little bit of confidence in this thing right now. Friggin' just got swapped. Whatever that means. <laughs> wow, that was cool. All I gotta do is hook a fish, right? So they're definitely interested in it. I've only been here for, uh, I don't know, not even five minutes, and I got a hit on it already. But one thing I notice about this thing is you can't really reel it too fast. Because if you do, it just kind of just doesn't swim right. But other than that, I mean, it swims pretty good. So. Plenty heavy enough. Definitely throw it a mile. I mean, this is crystal clear water, and that fish came up and hit it, so that says something. Ooh, got another hit. How about that? All right, I mean, they're hitting it. Just can't hook them. <laughs> This is actually the larger size one. I'm wondering if I should have got the smaller one now. Because that's the second hit. And I haven't been able to set the hook on them. You can put a treble hook underneath this. Which would probably work. If I actually brought some, but I didn't. Oh, we got, oh, I got a fish. There we go. Oh my God. How about that? On the live target mullet. Oh, there's, there's something else chasing it too. It's a, oh, it's a jack. I got a jack. Hey guys, sorry. Um, I just want to stop the video real quick because I wanted to show you guys something in case you missed it or, or you didn't see it or whatever. But uh, I actually hooked a pretty nice size snook right here in this video. Um, here, check this out. So I'm guessing what, what happened was that after the snook jumped, this jack that I'm about to catch pretty much grabbed that lure right out of the snook's mouth because there was never any slack in my line or I never lost any bend in my rod. So I thought that was pretty cool and I wanted to mention that and show you guys. Um, definitely neat. So, all right. Anyways, on with the video. Check it out. That's what I got. I got a big jack. Oh boy. Uh oh, <laughs> this might be a problem here, right? <laughs> if he moves out, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my lure because I have a small 3,000 size reel, and that's not a bad fish. Oh my goodness, this could be a big problem. I might get spooled on this fish. I thought it was a snook, but it was a jack, a big jack. Wow, maybe I should have brought my 4,000. This might be real quick ending. It's a big fish. I can't even turn my reel. It's a nice jack. Uh oh, this might be a big problem. Can't get nothing on him. Not a damn thing. <laughs> Whoops! 
All right, so I have a little more confidence in this reel. This, I mean, this uh, lure now, but there's a good chance I ain't gonna get it back. <laughs> right? Oh boy, definitely should have brought my 4,000. I didn't expect this. I'm looking for snook. Not this big old jack. He's strong as shit too. Oh, look at him, he's right there. My arm hurts. Wow. There he goes. Come on, buddy. Help me out a little bit. Oh, he's just, oh, he got, he's going. He's definitely going. Oh. There he is, I can see him out there. This, is not, this definitely might not end well. I can barely even move this fish. He ain't quitting. I might be buying myself a new live target. Oh, what? oh no. Come on, buddy. Putting as much pressure as I think I can on this fish. Wow, I'm definitely undergunned here. Big trouble. I'll try to turn him. There's a bunch of swimmers over there. Oh, he's turning around the other way now. Wow, this is no joke. <laughs> All right, so the live target mullet works on jacks. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Oh my goodness. Wow, I can't believe he got it in his mouth. He's got to be big. I can see him out there. Come on, buddy. Give me a break. Wow. I'm trying. Real hard on this one. I was looking for snook. <laughs> Not this bruiser. But you can't pick what you catch, I guess. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. Oh my god, come on in, buddy. Come on in, I'll let you go, I promise. I'm gonna walk up a little bit here. See if I can pull him in as I'm walking. I got such a bend on my rod right now, it's not even funny. He's coming up. Oh, we don't like that. I'm trying to walk him in. Wow, I think I got him. Maybe. I'm lucky. There he is. Right in the short line. That's a big fish. <laughs> Holy live target, right? That's a confidence booster. Oh, he's foul hooked, I think. No, wait, maybe. No, he's got squarely in the mouth. That's definitely a confidence booster right there. Wow, look at that jack. That's no joke. Holy shit. Wow. I guess he liked the live target. Let's get him in there. Oh my god. This thing's gotta be 20 pounds, easy. Holy shit. Let's bring him up. Wow. Jesus. Oh my god. Wow, what a fish. Oh my god. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's a little dirty, sorry. How's that for a confidence booster for a lure, eh? That'll work, eh? Oh my god, what a jack. You gotta be kidding me. I caught him a 3,000, seven foot medium, medium reel. I, I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. I caught him on a 3,000 size reel with a seven foot medium action rod on 10 pound test. All right, so we're gonna go let him, oh, it's busy. We're gonna go let him go. It's not busy. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's go let him go. Oh my God. 
Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh my god. He's ready. He's so ready. He wants to go. See ya. Are you kidding me? Wow, my arm hurts so bad right now. That was amazing. All right, I'm gonna go see if I can get something else. Freaking crazy, freaking crazy. <laughs> I can't believe that. This lure rocks. <laughs> review of this lure, it's awesome. How's that for a review? Awesome lure. All right, let's go see if we can get some more. My arm can handle it. I don't even think it swims right anymore. I don't think it knows how to swim anymore. <laughs> right? So all I'm doing is straight just reeling this thing in. That's it. Kind of slow too, actually. It seems like if you start picking up the pace on it a little bit, it gets a little bit up on the surface. It doesn't look too good, but when you're reeling it slow, it looks real nice. That tail moves, and, and I'll tell you what, other than the, the paint getting chewed off of it, <laughs> it's looking pretty good. There's snook keep following it up. I keep seeing snook following. There's another one right there. Full on followed it up. Didn't commit though, it was small. Oh, I got another hit. Right there, a snook, right there. They're definitely interested in it. I don't think they can, these snook are small, they can't get in their mouth. All right, so I definitely have a lot more confidence in this lure now. I didn't expect it to perform like this on the beach at all in the clear water so I mean for it being as big as it is definitely feel that I should have my my bigger rod out here to be throwing this but I mean it is what it is this was like an impromptu kind of thing and uh, you know what are you gonna do you gotta work with what you got right If I can get a big snook on this thing, I'll be 100% psyched, 100%. And the little guys are definitely taking interest in it. It's just real, real kind of tricky. Oh no, are you kidding me? I just threw it off. Oh my God. Alright, so it's gone. I even went out swimming after it. It's, it's gone. I've been looking for it for about 20 minutes, half hour. It's, it, it's actually pretty much heartbreaking that I lost that lure right now. Um, my bail quick closed and, and friggin' the braid snapped and it went flying. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it's gone. <laughs> so I guess I'm done for today. Uh, I'm going to go buy another one of those lures tomorrow and I'm coming back up here. So I'm going to continue the video tomorrow, I guess, and, uh, and uh, just keep going. Uh, this, is, this is the stupidity challenge now, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm coming back here, I'm buying another live target mullet, and I might even buy a smaller one to see if I get the smaller snook to hit it. They definitely like it, and uh, I'm definitely coming back, So especially after that jack. But. I, I guess I'm going home now, so I'll see you tomorrow.